Uh, yes, it's proven that uh, our emotion and our emotions and nurturing skills do get in the way because we are mothers, we are sisters, we are daughters, and especially in India, uh, we are brought up to think like girls, uh, to be more demure, to be more submissive. And uh, what happens is in, uh, in the business world, investors, executives find it very frustrating when women bring that aspect into business. Because um, in times of crisis, they tend to uh, be, get very mild, they get very uh, soft, and they do not take harsh or quick decisions or drastic decisions that are needed at that point uh, to make that change. And that could be pretty frustrating for male executives. Very good. Ranak, would you agree? What um, are your thoughts? I, I actually, to some extent, I think we have two qualities that uh, that do come instinctively, I think that probably, uh, you know, we're predisposed. And one of those is prudence, and the other is compassion. And, and it does come uh, a little bit more naturally to us. We have to always think, the female of the species is to think about the offspring, and so the prudence comes uh, in there. Both of these, I think, used well, <coughs> are outstanding advantages. There are advantages in how you grow your business. There are advantages in how you grow your team. Um, I also think that these same two uh, character traits in a lot of uh, uh, women um, can also work exactly the opposite, where compassion can be one of your o overly uh, compassionate or not with the right level of judgment can also be one of your failings, as can prudence because it holds you back from taking the right risks. Interesting about the, the traits. Uh, and that's an area we're really starting to explore in, in the world of careers, is the use of neuroscience and the trait graphs and the cognitive and behavioral traits to match profiles to certain positions. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you brought that up. I think it's a critical point we're going to hear more and more about now in society. Davida, what are your thoughts on this? It's interesting when they say emotional like it's a bad thing. Mm. Because if yes. you look at the Western world, some of the brands, some of the businesses are so cold, so impersonal, that they're turning con to countries like India and saying, you know, what is it that you can add that really connects with your consumer? Mm -hmm. How do you connect with your employees? How do you connect with people who are listening to you? And when I entered the technology business, like uh, as a teenager, actually, and one of the things I felt is all about the science. It's very tech. It's very boring. You know, there's really no life to it. And being a creative person myself, uh, I said, you know what, how do you do it differently? How do, you make it all this, how do we make it about senses? How do we make it about something that you connect with, something you enjoy, something you want to talk about, something that makes you feel proud? So bringing that feeling into your business is incredibly important, first of all, because it connects, with, connects you uh, to your customers. You know, yesterday, just last night, I was hanging with a bunch of friends, and when someone introduces me, I'll just usually say, oh, I work for this company, View TV, I'm in the marketing. And I never say that I started it or I run it because I like to get the, you know, real feedback. Mm. And the person said, uh, oh, View, oh, I'm a huge fan of the company. And in my head, I was like, yay. One hour later, he's like, so what do you do at Review? What is your job role? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I started it, I run it. But what's interesting is he used the word huge fan. It's very rare to, for people to use that for a yes. almost boring technical product. So where women really bring in is, you know, sort of, I always said that sort of men draw the lines and women fill it with color. So it's emotion and nurturing skills are fabulous. It's what the world needs, you know. We have such dull businesses out there. I'm glad so many women are in it and just changing the game. Bring some color to it. Great. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. I think you should say that line again. I think that's, that's the line of the night. It's a beautiful <laughs> line. Could you really say it again? It's a beautiful line. Which one? The one of women filling in. Filling the line with colors. I don't know how you <laughs> framed it. It was beautiful. Men draw the lines and women fill in the, the colors. Color. That's the line. I think it's a beautiful line.